Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and the subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send in donations. So this one says, what's up, fam? I've upgraded my game so much that I'm out on a first when I'm out on the first date with a chick. Seven out of ten times, I'm pulling them back to my spot, my flirting, my eye contact, my style address, my cologne, my body language, all say, yeah, you know, we fucking tonight. Uh, my game isn't overly aggressive. It's actually understated. I've just gotten to the to a point where I know how to make women attracted to me. Thanks to your videos for that. Um, I'm smashing a lot of these chicks, but the problem is that they don't trust me before and after we smash. They think I'm a fuck boy running through all of these chicks, which I kind of am, but that's not what I'm about. I have a decent enough mouthpiece to downplay the fuck boy talk. Um, they give me and I end up keeping them on the team, but the other ones who, um, I haven't hit yet. They, they're hesitant about me. Uh, they like me, but think I'm going to smash and never call them again. And I do and I don't do girls like that. How do I ease their worries and still hit the skins though? Um I know you can't get them all, but I know but I know I can get a few more. Uh how do I work around this? Do I downplay all of the attraction shit? All right. Good question. Now, this is the thing. You don't want to downplay anything. You don't want to, you don't need to like convince these girls like, yo, I'm not going to, I'm not like that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that because it doesn't matter because they won't believe you. You understand? They, they don't, they don't believe you. They're not, they, they, if they think you're going to fuck them and leave, they're going to think you're going to fuck them and leave no matter what you say. The, the thing is though, is are they going to fuck you? Are they going to keep wanting to fuck with you? And it all depends on the girl you understand it depends on how confident she is it depends on how attracted she is to you and that's going to determine whether or not if she's going to keep seeing you if she's going to keep having sex with you if she might not have sex with you in certain situations it all depends on that see you just need to do you and be you and you don't need to downplay shit you understand if anything you could upplay it to whatever you know what i'm saying if you want you know what I mean? She's like, oh, you know, you probably get all these girls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, hell yeah. I'm, I'll be getting the chicks, of course, you know. I mean, that's why you, that's why you talking to me. Like, I know I'm fly. Don't, don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. So the thing is, you don't need to, like, downplay anything. Because the thing is, the girls, what happens is some of these girls could be intimidated by you. Some of these girls, they're... They're attracted to you, but they're nervous that you're not going to call them after you have sex and all this other stuff, right? So, you know, you don't necessarily need to tell her like, yeah, girl, I ain't going to call you after this. I'm going to fuck the shit out of you and that's that or whatever. You don't need to like go in on that if that if that was your plan or what you was going to do. Um, but, you know, you were saying like, hey, I'm not even really like that. I'm not really trying to do all of that. But what I'm saying is, is that you just have to be you and then the girls who are going to be cool with all of that, the girls who are going to want to fuck with you is going to be the ones who want to fuck with you. Because just like you said in, in the beginning, you said uh, you said I'm out, I'm out with a chick on a first date and seven out of ten times you're pulling them back to your spot. So, you know, you got a good percentage of you meeting chicks and fucking with them and, and getting shit going, going down. So you, you got no problem on that aspect of it. Now, the problem could be is if you're feeling a girl and you want to keep seeing her and then she thinks that you're some you know you're a super mac player guy so she might not take you seriously in in that regard of continuing continuing to see you now again there are some girls who will so you just have to uh find the girls who are going to gravitate to that you got to find the girls who are going to be uh you know cool with that you understand what i'm saying because again like i was saying it all depends on the chick because some chicks not going to give a fuck some chicks are going to like you so much to the point where they're going to want to keep seeing you they're going to want to keep fucking with you you know saying there's a lot of women that i've dealt with you know they they know I, I, i'm an open relationship they know i've got other women and there's women i've seen on con, like on a consistent basis for like months sometimes years you know what i'm saying so you know it all depends on the woman it all depends on uh, if she wants to make it happen, but you don't need to downplay it. You don't need to 
uh, like pretend it's not happening. You don't need to like uh, be on some other shit because even if you do that, they're not going to believe you anyway. Trust me, I've tried that shit plenty of times. They don't fucking believe you. You understand what I'm saying? They don't. They already have their perception of you. They already have their their view of who they feel you are. And it is what it is. Because anything else, they're going to just think you're lying. If you're like, oh, no, nah, I'm chilling, whatever. Let's say even if, let, let's say you're in a situation where you're not really fucking with that many girls at the moment. And you're like, nah, I'm chilling. I ain't really doing that. And they still won't even believe you. So don't it don't matter. So just do you. And, you know, keep that shit pushing. All right. So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below and I'll let you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com